Hello everyone. So welcome to my YouTube channel. And today our topic is routing information protocol. As per the request from the students for the deep drive into the routing information protocol. So today we are going to discuss deeply about that. Okay. What is the routing information protocol? It is a layer three protocol and it is a part of dynamic routing. This protocol is used local as well as in wide area network. So there are some key features about the routing information protocol. First of all, it is a distance vector routing protocol. That is means every single decision taken by this protocol will be done on the basis of hope counts. Okay. There is a, there is a limit of hope count in this protocol. The hope limit is 15. After the 15 hope count, the data will not be forwarded. The routing information protocols forwards the periodic updates after every 30 seconds. Later on, we are going to discuss about that. Okay. It uses the simple metric to, dis to take the decision over there. It uses the split horizon rule to prevent the loop formation. And also the data will not be forwarded back again because of this rule. The hold on timers is only 180 seconds. Okay, so let's talk about the key features. Dear all, the distance vector routing protocol means the routing information protocol uses the distance vector algorithm to determine the best path from the source to destination. It measures the distance in terms of number of hopes. That is means if there are three or four different paths to forward the data, the path which has least hope count will be the best path. And that doesn't depend on the bandwidth of the path. There is a hope limit to forward the data. The maximum number of hopes allowed are 15. After 15 routers in series, the data cannot be forwarded. The periodic update means the routers are sharing the update messages in every 30 seconds. Well, it uses the simple metric on the basis of uh, hope count to share the data information and to select the best path. I already discussed about the split horizon rule. That is means it is a method to prevent the loop formation on layer three networks. If I talk about the version of routing information protocol, there are two versions of routing information protocol. First one is RIP version one that is classful protocol. That is means subnetting is not supported. It is only the it it also forward the broadcast update to all the hosts. That is means every time the broadcast kind of messages will be forwarded because multicast has not been introduced in case of a RIP protocol. Well, if I talk about the RIP version 2, that is somehow a good protocol as compared to RIP version 1 because this protocol is a classless protocol and it supports the subnetting. If I talk about the method to share the update, it's, it does the multicasting and the multicasting address for the routing information protocol is 224.0.0.9. Let's talk about the authent authentication process. So routing information protocols also has some processor for the authentication, but in case of RIP version 2 only. RIP version 1 doesn't support that. So routing information protocol is a distance vector routing protocol and the AD value, the administrative distance of the routing information protocol is 120. Lesser is the administrative distance, more will be the trustworthiness. But if in case of routing information protocol, the AD value is the highest one. The, the best path selection mechanism already we have discussed that the least hope count is used as the best path selection. Okay. If we have multiple paths to forward the data and all of them has same number, same bandwidth and same hope count, then which will, which path will be selected? Let us assume that this is a source router. This is a destination router and there are multiple paths to forward the data in between them like this one and two and three. So if this is source and this one is our destination, the number of hope counts are equal and the, let us assume the bandwidth is 100 Mbps in all of these. 
So which one will be the best path? The routing information protocol will randomly choose the network which will be firstly defined. Well, if I talk about the algorithm used to select the best path is Bellman Ford algorithm that works on the basis of least hope count. Well, the command that is used to check protocol status is show IP protocols. The protocol that are working on the router will be shown here. So in case of dynamic routing, you only have to provide the information of your directly connected network. The indirectly connected network information will be provided by the protocol. In case 192.168.2, 12.0 is an indirectly connected network and the information of this indirectly connected network will be automatically forwarded by the routing information protocol update. Now you don't have to define the indirectly connected network every time. So to configure the dynamic routing protocol, you only have to provide the information of your directly connected network. Indirectly connected network information will be automatically be provided. Well, let's talk about the timers in routing information protocol. If I talk about the timers in routing information protocol, first one is update timer. So in every 30 seconds, the router exchanges the update messages like this. Okay. If I talk about the update message, the total time is 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, again, it will forward the update to the neighbor router and let us assume if this link is down what will happen then the invalid timer will be automatically started the routers will wait for the update from the neighbor router for next 180 second when the neighbor has been disconnected from the network okay if i talk about the Invalid timer. The invalid timer determines how long a route can stay in the routing table without receiving any update. So that is means if any update will not be received from that one, the data will be still in the routing table. Okay. So when a route will be first learned or updated, the invalid timer is set. Okay. If there is no update received from the route, before the invalid timer expires, the route is considered as invalid. That is means if the neighbor is not sending any message to the router, that is means it is considered as the invalid after 180 second. Well, the next one is hold on timer. The total hold on timer is 180 second. It prevents any update or any new information from the neighbor. It prevents the information from the neighbors to be received or responded so these are the purpose of the invalid uh, the hold on timer the hold on timer is used to stabilize the network by preventing the router from accepting new possibly incorrect routing information about from the invalid route for a specific period so it prevent any message from the neighbor that is already disconnected so once the route is marked as invalid Due to invalid timer, the hold on timer will be activated. During the hold on period, the router will ignore any update from that route that come from different neighbor. Till the hold on timer works, it will not accept any update message from any other routes. Okay. Well, if I talk about the configuration of routing information protocol, so routing information protocol can be configured by directly putting the command on the router. First of all, in user executive mode, enable, then configuring terminal, it will be the privilege mode. Then in global configuration mode, put a command. Let's discuss about how the routing information protocol is configured. First of all, go to global configuration mode, then put a command router rip. Now you only have to specify your networks only and put the exit command. Okay. By putting these, these command like show IP protocols and show IP route, you can check the routing table and protocol details. If I talk about the configuration of rip version two, so that can be, that is same 
as the rip version one but only there is a difference of this command router rip version 2 you only have to put a command version 2 before introducing or advertising the routing information the network information okay now let's do the configuration of routing information protocol so let's first of all provide the ip address to the pcs so 192.168.10.2 and 10.1 is the gateway 192.168.12.2 and 12.1 is the gateway so we will put this information now let's go to the routers and here in global configuration mode enable configuring terminal okay first of all we will provide the ip address so interface g0 slash 0 slash 0 no shutdown okay ip address 192 no shutdown ip address 192.168.10.1 and 255.255.255.0 interface g0 slash 0 slash 1 no shutdown okay ip address 192.168.11.1 and 255.255.255.0 255 okay let's talk about the neighbor one so i will go to this router and put a command no enable configuring terminal interface g0 slash 0 slash 1 no shutdown ip address 192.168.11.2.255.255.255.0 okay let's provide the information of gateway so interface g0 slash 0 slash 0 no shutdown ip address 192.168.12.1 and 255.255.255.255.0 so we have just provided the information of ip addresses now let's do the routing on both the routers so we will introduce or advertise the network information that is directly connected okay router rip okay then define the network 192.168.10.0 192.168.11.0 exit that's it okay on the neighbor router i will also do the same router rip network 192.168.11.0 192.168.12.0 so the network has been configured now in every 30 second they will exchange the hello packets if you want to see the details just go to the router and put a command show ip protocols you can see it has just forwarded the last update let me again put the command it has forwarded the last update in 8 seconds 14 seconds 15 seconds the timer is working 19 seconds 20 seconds 21 seconds 23 and 24 25 then after 30 seconds it will become one again that is mean it is the countdown is working and updates has been forwarded every time so it is sending the update in every 30 seconds next new update will be in 23 seconds 21 seconds so this is how the timers work in case of dynamic routing protocols okay let me try to ping these two PCs and we'll see what effect will be done. So let me put a command here ping 192.168.12.2. You can see the R packet will be generated and forwarded to the router again and get back. Now the ICMP packet will be generated and will be converted to the R packet. You, we already know that very well after some time the next icmp packet will be generated now the icmp packet will again be generated this packet will not be lost 
and it is forwarded properly at getting the response from the neighbor. This is how the routing information protocol works. And we got the proper response from the neighbor, uh, from the other, from the destination, and we can easily forward the data in between them. So I hope you like the session and have a nice day. Please subscribe.